Hey everyone, in today's Photoshop video, I wanna show you how to remove a background from any image inside of Photoshop. And I'm gonna show you one of the fastest way to do this, then we'll look at some advanced ways to kind of refine the edges and make this really nice and professional. And I'll make this as quick as I can. As usual, there is a free link to the latest version of Photoshop. If you don't have the latest version, you could try it out there. And I do have a full course on everything Photoshop has to offer for beginners and that's also in the link in the description. Let's jump in here to Photoshop and remove a background in a photo. The very first thing we wanna do is we wanna to go to File and press File Open to make sure we open our image here. I've done that step. Now, you need at least Photoshop 2020 to use this tool. This came up back with Photoshop 2020, and if you use the cloud version of Photoshop, you already have this. Come over here to this tool and press and hold down with your mouse here and choose object selection tool. That's the option we wanna choose. And if you just select this option, select subject, Photoshop is gonna do its best to make a selection around the subject. And on purpose, I chose a difficult subject here with hair flying all over the place just to show you what it does with hair. Let me go ahead and deselect this. The other option is with this object selection tool, Make sure these double squares add to selection is selected and I have the mode on rectangle. The other option is lasso tool, but rectangle is fine. And you could just draw a rectangle around your subject like this. And it made a selection here again, the same way, a little bit of a different selection. So you could see which one is better. I'll go ahead and press select subject one more time, press okay. And I do like this selection more. It did a better job with hair. Now, if you missed the section, all you need to do is come over here to the left side, select down and choose the quick selection tool. And as long as this is on the plus sign, you could come and add to the selection here. And if you press the bracket right key, you could increase the size of the brush here or bracket left key will decrease it. And that will add to the selection. You could always press the minus brush sign here, subtract from selection and take things away from the selection if you want. Now we're not done yet. Although if I just press command J or control J, it is going to create a new layer here. And if I turn off my background, we're almost there, but the selection is not perfect yet, especially if you're working with hair here, there's gonna be some difficulties. So I'm gonna undo that so I could show you the next step here, which is select a mask, click that. And on this page, we do have a couple of options. You could press refine hair here and see what that does. And it's gonna to try to do a better job on the adjustment with the hair. It did not in this case, so I'm gonna press Command or Control Z here to just undo that step. But there is a really simple tool here, and it's on this side, the left side, it's this tool. It's called Refine Edge Brush Tool, or R, for your keyboard shortcut. And again, you have a brush size, so bring it over here. Bracket left will decrease, bracket right will increase. And you could go ahead and refine some of these edges here just by dragging and then adding or subtracting hair here. You can see it's gonna do a good job with our hair selection here if you just drag and refine the edges a little bit more. So I usually go around just the edges here and on the right side, there's an option that says show edge. You could press this to show what you've done with the edges here and see what it's doing to the hair. You do have some other options here so you could refine the mode from color aware to object aware and that's gonna change the selection a bit. I just wanna show you that this is object aware, this is color aware here, and the color one is working better for this case. And you could add a little bit of feathering here to the edges, you could see the difference here. If I go too far, you could see what it's doing. It's just kind of softening the edges. And I usually add a little bit of contrast to bring some of it back here without making it too harsh. If I go too much, you could see what it's doing to the edges, especially with hair here. And finally, I'll press output two and I want a new layer here. So I'll choose new layer and I'll press okay. And just like that, it's created a new layer. This is my layer with my background on it. This is my new layer without the background. Now I just have to bring in another image to make my background. In this case, I'll just press the rectangle tool here, choose a color up here. I'll choose just this red color and I'll draw a rectangle and I'll just go ahead and move that layer underneath my subject here. And I could go ahead and change the color here to whatever I want. 
or you could use any photo as your background by just opening it in Photoshop and putting it underneath your other layer, which is your subject. And it's that simple to remove and replace backgrounds in Photoshop. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to subscribe. I post really easy to follow videos just like this and complete tutorials on this channel on all Adobe products. And I hope to catch you next time. Thanks for watching.